hate it when you put me on hold. It was someone from the apartment again. Anyway, you will love this girl. That's what you said the last time you tried to set me up on a blind date. Yeah, but there was nothing wrong with Mona. Please. She asked me why I was still taking black and white pictures. So she doesn't know too much about your little hobby. She's a nice girl from a good family. Yeah, well, that's all she is. Now, where do you, where do you get these people? <laughs> Davy, I just want you to be happy. You just want to be happy. Here, be nice. And fix your hair, it looks like it's drowning. I spoke to a woman on the phone and she told me to come over. That was my mother. Hi, I'm Dave. Hi. Oh, sorry. Come in. Wow. What an incredible place. Thanks. And that is a beautiful camera you're wearing. Thanks. You know, I can't seem to stop taking pictures. It's my first time in Montreal, so... Well, my mother didn't tell me you were from out of town. I don't think I told her. I mean, I'm not going to take off or anything. I'm going to be here for a while. Great. Did, did you take these? Yeah, I just printed them. You know, I find black and white so much more expressive than color. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Like this shot here, for instance, I took in Russia. Can I get you something to drink? Sure. So you're a photographer? Not anymore. I'm in advertising now. I used to take it pretty seriously, but it just didn't pay the rent. You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. I used to, though. So it's worth it, sacrificing happiness for security? Who's sacrificing anything? Look around you. I've got the best of both worlds. Well, you've got both worlds. But have you got the best of them? Is orange juice OK? Why, Dave, it's not only my favorite color, but my favorite flavor. Great. I'll get the glasses. Great water pressure. Great sarcasm. So, show me the bedroom. Davy! 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 Mother, what are you doing what here? What are you doing in the bathroom? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, I thought your kids might be hungry. Hello. Hi. Um, you know, you might look more attractive with longer hair, don't you think? No, it really doesn't suit me. Thank you very much for passing by, Mother, but I know you're very busy, so I'm going to see you out. She looks a bit wild with that hair. Thank you, Mother. So you live here with your mother? God, no. She lives downstairs. It's just she owns the building, so she figures she owns the tenants, too. Believe me, I know what you mean. Why do you think I moved out? <laughs> so, let's get down to business. What do you pay? What? How much would I be paying? Oh, you're going to pay me. That's a new one. What are you talking about? Well, 
What are you talking about? Oh, here's a picture of Davy when he was a little boy. Look, I was just asking about the rent. The rent? The rent? Hello, I'm Marnie. Oh, no. You're the one who called for the apartment. That's why I'm here. Davy, she's not your date. She's for the apartment. I'm Marnie. I'm supposed to meet someone named Dave. I can explain. Sorry, wrong address. Actually, it's not the wrong address. Just the wrong guy. My mother will explain everything. And I'm, I'm sorry about this. I'm really sorry. You are a very attractive girl. If you cover up yourself more, it would be more for the imagination. I can show you the other apartment if you're still interested. It's exactly like this one, and the rent's pretty cheap. Don't you think you should ask your mother first? Come on, I'll show you the best part.